Let me show you. Hold on. The reason why I went is because the guy already fired torpedoes and I'm like, all right, maybe I get to catch him here and kill him. And if I don't, we lose this entire flank. If I do, well, we have a chance of winning this flank. And I was honestly hoping to kill him, but no. Um... All right, so textbook example of how a destroyer is going to lose a fight. So, okay, now you get two of me. If you take a look at the minimap, how these two are positioned, right? You have enemy destroyer that's positioned towards here. And you, in a, especially in a torpedo, even in a gunboat you are a disadvantage but especially in a torpedo boat you are at 100 percent disadvantage and unless this guy is a complete idiot he will never die to you all right Th this guy is coming like this and this guy is coming like this now let's go real quick to our paint right so we have an island here yeah and then we have enemy destroyer here and we have a friendly destroyer here yeah so strange finger it's not a finger it's, it's supposed to be land like an island this guy is looking at this direction and this guy is looking at this direction. If you ever find yourself in this situation, the worst thing that you can do, hold on, this is, this is kind of bugging me right now. There we go. The worst thing that you can do is try to push and kill this guy. Why? He has torpedo angles like this yeah something like something along these lines uh let's make it purple right you will use yellow you have these kind of torpedoes right if this guy here, for un reasons unknown to human brain, decides to remain stationary or reverse, you can kill him, right? Because we will use gray, uh, because if he decides to stay stationary, your torpedo spread is going to be like this, right? This is where you need to fire. To kill him yeah if he goes in reverse this is where you need to fire to kill him okay if he goes forward and he will accelerate very quickly you will probably need to fire like here to kill him well guess what you have land right you have land here which means you cannot torpedo that guy now i know that this looks a bit ridiculous and obvious to you but i have seen far too many people making this mistake and not be aware that you do not in a, this situation push this guy like this this guy has all the advantages now if you're in a gunfight, if you're in a gunfight, he's also in, a, in an advantage. You know why? Because if he's moving in this direction, his guns can still shoot like this. Yeah? You're moving in this direction, you still need to take lead to be able to shoot him. Right? So maybe your front turrets here will be able to shoot, let's say, here which is about the, the lead you need to take. 
But these guns most certainly will be hitting island, right? You won't be able to... Um, you won't be able to hit him, especially when he starts moving. But he will be able to shoot you because unlike him that's going behind cover and you need to take more lead, he needs to shoot here. That's out of cover, so his angles are always... He's always going to have some of the guns on you. Right? If you understand what I'm trying to say. He's going to have... He doesn't Class need to... Session. Yes, he doesn't need to shoot directly into your ship. He can shoot in front of your ship. Which means he's shooting air. And you are basically coming into his guns. While you need to shoot also through the air. But there's hard cover in between you and him. You... Do not push and kill this guy. There's no way that's gonna happen unless he's really low HP. But even if you're doing even if you're doing this in a gunfight, even if you're doing this in a gunfight, he will still torpedo you. He will still torpedo you. Can we undo stuff here? Yeah, we can. Okay, hold on. Uh let's remove these. Black arrow is thingy. Alright, so we're back to Torps. If you are this guy, and this is what happened, this is what's happening, you have to make sure that you understand. Can I go even more? Oh, this is perfect. I love paint. If you're this guy, you have to make sure to keep one thing in mind. The way you're positioned might need to be more like this right and not like this why if you're positioned like this so that you can get away your torpedo angles are kind of shit which means unless this guy over here literally decides to slowly creep his way here and stop you have torpedo angles on him, right? You will have torpedo angles on him, but that's about it. If he continues moving full speed, by the time he gets detected, you will need to torpedo him here. And you will not be able to do so, which means you basically sabotaged your own torpedo capabilities completely and you're down to guns guess what if you're down to guns these guns these guns can probably shoot but these guns probably can because they don't have the angle right you have to keep in mind that when you're positioning yourself like this you have an escape route so if you need to go forward Let's just get rid of this real quick. If you go forward, you don't ram into the island, which means that then this guy goes like this and torpedoes you. And guess what? You're dead. Um, and he's maneuverable. You're not. So he might even win the gunfight. He dictates when he goes stealth and stuff. So you have to be careful that you're not too much in, but this way you're keeping your torpedo angles very wide, right? So whatever he does, if he turns here, you have him, you can torpedo him. But if he goes like here, you can't. Um, or if he just continues going like this, you still can't. Uh, but and, and you're still the one who's immobile while he's mobile, so he dictates the fight. So you don't want to be able... Uh, you don't want to put yourself in that position, but you also don't want to put yourself in a position where you're like this and you do not have the torpedo angles that you need for here, okay? These are a couple of very, very simple, very, very obvious things that you need to apply to a very basic fight when pushing around the island that I see people uh, uh, screw up on an everyday basis.
It's very simple, it's plain obvious, and a lot of people fuck it up. When you're this guy, they don't position themselves correctly, they either beach here, or they're too far towards this location so they can't torpedo and then they're in trouble and they only have half the guns. Um, so you need to make sure you have the gun angles and the torp angles. You absolutely need to make sure that if this guy is not detected, that when you two do the end up detecting each other, that you do have the torpedo angles that you need to kill this guy, okay? Uh, if this guy is detected, then that changes a bit. You can be angled even less because the second your torpedo... Uh, the second your torpedo um, spread gets here, and this guy is like here at the time, you just torp him. Of course, I would also suggest that if you're this guy, you don't drop all your torpedoes in one go, because if this guy sees them or senses them, he just turns in and slows down, all your torpedoes are gonna go in front, you're not gonna hit anything. So you need to save at least one volley. And you need to start thinking how you're going to reposition and then you might need to do this and get your second torpedo volley or your guns so when the guy comes in here you can still shoot him and you're actually moving away and you're not hindered by this land it might seem funny to you it might seem obvious but too many people make this kind of mistake and get themselves in a position where they think oh i'm gonna torp him no you're not you're not gonna torp the guy, he's gonna torp you. Okay, can you remember, can you clip this? Or, in, in this case, he's just gonna gun you down. Not to mention that we're talking about a Hotnik that has higher caliber guns and a lot more than a Minakaze, plus a lot more HP. And Minakaze is pushing a Hotnik, so he's solely relying on torpedoes. Right? Minakaze has to kill this guy with torps. And he has basically zero chance of killing this guy with torps. As you can see, all this guy does is just move forward a little bit, and all the torpedoes are behind. And in the meantime, he's just killing Minakaze with his own guns, and he does have torpedoes ready. Now, of course, the reason why this guy didn't fire a bunch of torpedoes was one of two reasons. Either his angles got fucked, or he saved all his torpedoes for me. Because I did the same thing that this guy did, because I knew, judging by the minimap, that I'm gonna have one chance, and one chance only, to rush and kill a Hotnik and pray to God that I can survive. It didn't work out. I dodged the first set. I take only one torpedo. He cuts me down to like, I don't know, 27. I heal to like 30. I push in, but I have AP loaded. And I drop him down to like 1000 HP. And then he just fires more torpedoes and I'm dead. But if I take a look at the minimap, I'm the only ship on this entire third of the map. And, and this is a destroyer. With a pretty good concealment. I have to now push here, hope to kill him and survive. Otherwise, we lose the cap, we lose the flank, and our carrier is in danger. I don't know, did he die afterwards? Because we left him on really low HP and it totally wasn't worth uh, uh, for me. But this destroyer pretty much made this entire flank uh, uh, fuck up. What you can do when you're in a situation like this... If you're not detected and you're here, go towards this direction, right? So if this is the island, this is the guy you're chasing. He's turned towards there and this is you and you're coming from here. Don't do this, do this. Because then if he torps you, you're already running away. And then you're going to shoot each other a little bit with guns. And if you need to disengage, you can turn on your smoke screen and you just disappear. It's very simple. Do not push in, because it's probably going to get you killed, very often. So, you got killed by Miyogi? Okay, so this guy ended up finishing this guy, which means that this flank, for all we know, and there could be more ships here, didn't completely fall, but it's, it's, it doesn't, it's not worth it. We lost two ships for one. So anyway, quick lesson, very simple, probably laughable to a lot of people. But you'd be surprised how many people make this mistake. And yeah, I'll play the rest of this clip because of course he dies and then that's it. I'm doomed to have to now do the same thing he did and rush him. Or I can turn around and try to run, run away while being detected and then get intercepted on the other side 
by the same Ochotnik or, you know, we're going to lose the flank and, and that's it. And it's only because this guy decided to do something pretty, you know, against... Uh, textbook example on what not to do.